In this equation, we have CH4O plus O2 in a combustion reaction, and we're ending up with carbon dioxide and water. You'll see CH4O, methanol, sometimes written as CH3OH. It's the same thing. If you add up the hydrogens, you'll have four. The difference is that when we see the OH here at the end, that's what tells us this is an alcohol. Either way, if you balance it using this one or this one, you're going to get the same answer. So let's work with CH4O here and add up each atom on each side of the equation. So on the reactant side, we have one carbon, we have four hydrogens, and then we have one oxygen here, plus we have these two right here. So we have a total of three oxygens. Make sure you count all those. On the reactant side, we have one carbon, two hydrogens, and then two of the oxygens here, plus we have the one right here. That gives us a total of three. So it looks pretty good that most things are balanced here. Let's see what we can do. Our hydrogens aren't balanced, and pretty much the only thing we can do is put a two in front of the H2O. Two times two, that'll give us four hydrogens. That's looking good, but the two applies to everything. Let's update the oxygens. We have two here, plus we have the two here. That'll give us four oxygens. And now we have a bit of a problem because our oxygens aren't balanced. Everything else is. Well, we could put a two in front of the CH4 Oh, if we do that, then we have one times two. That'll give us two, four times two. That'll give us eight, but we can update our oxygens again. We have one times two plus two. That'll give us four oxygens. And now we're back to the point where we need to fix our carbons and hydrogens. Why don't we fix the carbons? That's pretty simple. Let's see what that does to the equation. So I need two of them. Let's put a coefficient of two here, one times two. Now our carbons are balanced and we need to update the oxygen. We have two times two, that's four, plus two times two, that's four. So now we have eight of those oxygens there. So we could fix the oxygens. Let's leave them for last right now. It's these hydrogens I want to get fixed. I need to have eight, so this two is going to have to change to a four. And when I do that, I need to update these numbers again. So now for my hydrogens, I have two times four. That'll give me eight. That's good. And then my oxygens, I have two times two. That's four plus one times four. That gives me eight. And now all that's left is to fix the oxygens. I need eight. I have one times two. That would give me two of those oxygens there. So I need six here. Two plus six would give me eight. If I put a three in front of the O2, two times three, that is six, and that would give me eight. And this equation would be balanced. This was actually really kind of an annoying equation. We had to keep updating things and changing things, but eventually it worked out. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CH4O plus O2, and thanks for watching.